apps. Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I sort through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. It's the Daily Abster for May 13th, 2011. We've got a game to start us off with. It's called Blue Block Double. Blue Block Double. This is a puzzle game where you're trying to get these two blue blocks out of this grid of other blocks. You do this by moving the blocks in the direction that they're facing. There's a lot of games like this that have the same kind of mechanic. I'm not exactly sure what you call it, but it's pretty fun. It's pretty addicting. The thing that makes this game super awesome is just the sheer number of puzzles that this has. On expert mode, there's there's 90. It's only, only 90. On hard, there's 701. And on medium, there's 3. 3,674. So I don't think you'll run out of puzzles with this. You'll probably get tired of the app before that happens. So if that sounds cool, check out Blue Block Double. Next up is an app called Buckshot. Buckshot. That's one word. This is kind of like a bingo slash scavenger hunt that you can play with your friends. You've got this 5x5 five five grid, and each box in the grid has something that you need to take a picture of. So you'll take a picture and you'll put it in that box, and, you know, it's first to get a full row or column, or like, black out the board. You can play this with one other person. You can play this, it says, with up to 100 people. Now, I haven't played this yet, so I can't really vouch for it completely, but I just love the idea. This seems like it could be a really cool game. You'll be creating an account with Buckshot, or you can link it with your Facebook account. But if that sounds cool to you, check out Buckshot. Next app is called Inspire. Inspire-paint-draw-and-sketch. And this is one of the best painting apps I've ever messed around with. It's uh, kind of like an oil painting. You can choose from several different types of brushes. You can choose any colors, obviously. You can choose the sizes of the brushes and that sort of thing. One of the things I think is really cool about it is that you can set it so that the brush will dry out as you're painting. You know, you'll be doing a line, and as you go, you know, it'll, it'll be drying out paint just like a real brush would. And then when you're done, you can continually kind of swiping over that to kind of blend that into the background. Now, I'm not a painter by any means, but this was a lot of fun, and if you are creative in that way, check out Inspire-Paint-Draw-and-Sketch. Next app is Universal. It's called TouchBand. Touch Band. It's kind of like a little music studio. You're able to take control of a drum set, a piano, uh, some bongos, this weird little flute thing, and a guitar. And you can actually record each of those instruments. Again, this isn't something that I'm really good at, but if you are creative in that way, this could be something fun to mess around with. The one thing I didn't like at all is the ad placement, and you can you can purchase it and get rid of the ads, but the ads are right over the control panel that you're actually having to use to record and play back and you're able to tap a little arrow and the ad will go away but randomly it'll pop back and inevitably that's when you're about to press a button so that's one thing i don't like about it other than that it's pretty cool if you're musically inclined or just would like to be check out touch band next up is called moto trials moto trials that's one word and trials is with a z This is a lot like a game called Trials HD for the console. This is a motocross game. You're this guy on a motocross. You're able to control the speed of your bike. You're able to lean forward and backward to kind of steady yourself or land correctly. And you're going through these trials. You know, but you're you're doing weird stuff. I mean, you're jumping over cars and that sort of thing, but you're also going to be jumping over, like, exploding barrels, and you're going to be going up and down elevators. There's weird mechanics with platforms that move around. This is similar to Trials HD in that there are waypoints throughout the level that once you pass that waypoint, you can continue from there from then on, which is really helpful, and it makes you just keep playing. Because, I mean, you don't have to make it to the end of the level. You just have to make it to that next waypoint. So I really recommend this, Moto Trials. And the last app I want want to talk about is kind of a crazy app. It's called Clawzilla. Clawzilla, and that's one word. And really the only reason I'm adding this in here is because it's ridiculous. This is a ridiculous <laughs> application. But I love it. It's it's nuts. Clawzilla is one of those claw games, you know, you you where you drop the claw and grab the prize and drop it down the, you know, the little prize hole thing. That's the gimmick here, except that you're actually controlling a real 
claw game, this actual claw game. You've got these cameras that are looking in on this claw game that is located who knows where, and you're able to control where the claw moves, and when it drops down, you don't actually get the prize, but you get points. It is free to try, basically. You, When you first start it up, you get 200 tokens, and it costs 25 tokens to play, and you get four claw drops per play but honestly i'm not I'll, I'll probably play a few more claw drops to see if i can get something but i just thought the idea was insane and i encourage you to check that out it's really kind of funny and that's clawzilla that's all the apps i have for you today you can follow the show and find links to all the apps i've talked about at the big if you'd like to email me for any reason you can do that at the daily at gmail.com and i'm on twitter at twitter.com slash the daily Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps.